And the other one, I think, may all of you guys, hopefully, hopefully believers, right? That other one is still the undisputed, the undisputed super lightweight world champion from Philadelphia, Danny Swift Garcia. Him down and he never hurt you. See, seriously hurt you. Um, see, I faced adversity in the That's the difference between me and him. He's a, he's a great fighter. I take nothing away from him, but he's never faced adversity. He's never been cut late in a fight. He's never been 12 hard rounds with a legend. With a, you know, I've been in there with a lot of technical fighters who can really fight and he threw good shots and, you know, I sucked it up. I, I faced adversity before and I knew if I took him late in the fight that I'll get him. And then lastly, Angel, can I ask you, how do you think Danny would match up if he fought Floyd? You know, Floyd had a great performance tonight. If that were to be the next fight for Danny, how do you think he would do? Well, first of all, I want to thank God. And for God giving Danny all, all the power in the world, because what I am, and he wanted me, I wouldn't be here. Well, if that was to happen, I will call it the Holy War. It would be the Holy War, because it would be two gifted fighters spiritual fighters that God put in his plan to fight, bless, bless fighters, before he's blessed, now he's blessed. He just still have to, you know, prove himself to you guys. That's it. Because people still die in the champion of the world. And still the champion of the world. <laughs> God bless you. Danny, right here. Right here. Right here. Okay. Danny. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Danny, you fought some good punchers before, and he hit you with you know, several hard, hard shots. You took them very well. How would you rate his power? Is it at any time that you, you feel any of those punches? I mean, he's a strong puncher, no doubt about it, but um, somebody's only strong if you got to be strong. And um, a lot of the punches he caught me with, I was, I was pulling my head back a little bit, I was blocking a little bit, so. I never really felt his power. I mean, he's a strong puncher. I felt his aggressiveness, but um, he never really hurt me in the fight. 
10, it seemed like the, the first couple of rounds were really close. Uh, he was putting a lot of pressure on you, and the tide seemed to change around the sixth when you closed his eye. Uh, at that point, you seemed like you got a boost, and you were putting your combinations together, and you were starting to tee off on him a little bit. When you saw the eye close, did that just say, you know, I, I got to really put it on this guy? Like right there, uh, it was in my head. I was like, before the fight, I was like, this guy has never faced adversity. He's never been cut. He's never been hurt. And that was my game plan to go in there. To cut his eye, to make his eye swollen, knock him down. I did both things, man. And that's what true champion does. Danny, right here. What next for you? Who do you want to face? You know, I just want to go home, take some time off, and let my body recuperate. I've had, you know, a tough game. And like I said before, whatever Richard want, whatever I even mean want, then we do. I'm just a fighter. That my job is to fight and give the fans a great fight. Danny, do you jump to your left? Uh, do you remember exactly which shot it was that, that began closing his eye, and when you realized that, and how much that changed your strategy? I think, I think it was a jab. It was a jab. I hit him with a jab, and I saw him blinking his eye. And then about 45 seconds later, his eye was closed. I just kept working. All you gotta do is knowledge is free. All you gotta do is listen to me. If you listen to me, I give you all the knowledge in the world. There's no money, there's knowledge. I said, you get knowledge, you'll be listening. I said, out of 10, only one's gonna make it, and that one's gonna be you listen. And I'm glad that he listened. That's why he's here today. This didn't start one day when he was 14, 16, he went to the gym, and he went to the gym, all of a sudden he wanted to fight. This, this started when he was a child. This was a dream. Nobody believed this. This, not, this ain't just starting to come. People say, oh, well, you don't know how to train. Listen, I'm the most under, 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 underrated trainer there is, and he's the most underrated fighter there is. And you guys still ain't gonna give him credit, but it doesn't matter to us, because we still undefeated. Yeah. I don't even want that, honestly. I don't even want, I don't even want that. But you know what? That ain't gonna make me no better. Give me some millions. Y gracias para todos los latinos que apoyan.